from this scripture he said there are times we are waiting for god to show up with noise and only thing god is saying is an instruction there are times we are waiting on god to show up with manifestation and the only thing god is saying is an instruction luke chapter number five peter has toyed all through the night he thought we'll say fish appear appear fish appear and jesus said now cast your net to this deep deep you know what it means go down and then all the fishes gather so be open to both manifestation and instruction because inside the instructions of god is the manifestation of god <laughs> all god gave abraham was an instruction leave here go there be open if there is any prayer i want you to pray more than any other prayer i'm giving you all the things i hear is before the, as this year is going on even in this conference lord give me direction direction that will cause my destiny to explode because the direction of god makes destiny to escape the frustrations of life do you realize that direction was what opened this woman up to what she has in her house that she didn't know direction was what saved her from what could have killed her as well direction was what made her she came back to the prophet said now i have oil the prophet said go and sell pay your debt and leave of the rest direction it's one of the keys to destiny explosion follow me very closely let me share some four things with you i call them four arrows that happened to this woman after this encounter and this is what i'm trusting god will happen to us after we encounter god this weekend write them down number one revelation revelation by only one encounter she had the revelation of what she has in her house that she never knew the value god in this season when he encounters us he gives us revelation revelation was what gideon had that made him to go and manifest destiny exploded because there was a revelation when we encountered the god of overflow one of the things that happened to our life from this woman's story was her eyes was open to what she had but she never knew could be useful there are things we have now that we don't know how useful they are moses was only carrying a rod he didn't know that inside that rod is the supernatural the same rod the same moses the same rod inside that rod there is a snake inside that rod what do you have that you don't know the what? Revelation opens our eyes to it. Revelation. I'm giving you practical things God showed me. These are things I'm working with as well. I saw them clearly. I'm not praying strange prayers. My prayers now are, are very strategic. Direction. Revelation. There is something I have that I've not used. I don't even know. There are people around me. I don't know their what. Revelation. Remember that Abraham's um, concubine, do we call it concubine or mistake wife? What's her name? Aga. She was sitting beside the well and her son was dying of thirst. But she didn't know until God opened her eyes. As we connect in this conference, may God open our eyes. What will make our destiny to explode, the Lord will open our eyes to it. So I have taught you what it means destiny explosion is to express your loading. There is something inside of you. Nobody is, 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 is empty. There is no body God made that is empty. You are not empty. You are loaded. But what do you have? These are questions we should ask ourselves. You want to change level? You want to explode beyond this number? You want to overflow in 2020? What do I have? Because before there can be an overflow, you must have something. It is something that God brings on that becomes over. Number two, reproach. Reproach. When she had an encounter, the reproach of their family was over. Do you know what it means? For the only thing you are living for, the two sons you have, the husband is dead, the only two things she could be looking up to. The enemy wanted to put her to nakedness. The reproach was many. The husband already died. Everybody in the city knows that they, they hold. And then they want to come and take her only comfort. The reproach was heavy. But that encounter ended that reproach. I don't know what is your own reproach. The encounter that will turn your reproach to celebration is going to happen to you. Amen. Number three was resources. Resources. This encounter shifted this family into resourcefulness. The oil was in their house. And then the prophet said, go and borrow. Don't borrow little. That is, increase your capacity. 
increase your capacity. You want to overflow, increase your capacity. I've told you that what determines your feeling is your capacity. Increase your capacity for more because overflow is more. Increase your capacity mentally. You want to overflow and explode? Increase. Don't borrow few. Borrow more. Borrow more. Borrow more. Not a few. And as it was pouring, it was only what was left that could be filled. Are you seeing what God is showing us here? This encounter brought them into resources. They began to borrow from people. How did I know something was going on in the city? People had empty vessels. That means there was no oil. What a strategic God. God told Agu to go and borrow from. Your neighbor, your neighbor. Then number four thing was riches and result. Riches and result. The encounter brought them into riches. The encounter brought them into result. Because why? Can you guess? Who do you think will be the first people she will sell to? Who? Who do you think she, sell, she sold to? Talk to me. No, no, apart from the creditors. She won't sell to the creditors. Because the creditors had money. Thank you. They had empty vessels. So they didn't have oil. And they needed oil. Do you know one of the things in marketing or selling is that you go to those that need it. Not those that already have it. You create products to meet the needs of those that need it. So God showed us some principles here that go to those that don't have. Borrow from them. Fill it up. Return back to them. Now I have brought your empty vessel. But now it is filled. The cost is $25. They're going to buy. Do you see what God is showing us? It all came via direction. One encounter. Ladies and gentlemen, write these four practical things down. Still under these four things, but they are practical ones. Discovery. There are four Ds. These are things I want you to work on as you round up this year. Discovery. You must discover something you have. That can bring you into overflow. Discover the gift. Discover the talent. If you can't discover, go and find, ask people, what do you see in me that can, that can do? Number two, direction. What to do? Direction. What to do? Ask God for that one. That is a direction. What do I do? Number three, deep hearted belief. These are the things this woman had. She discovered something. It was in her house. She didn't know. She had direction on what to do with it. But do you know the, the most important thing out of this thing was the deep-rooted belief. How do I know? What do you have? A little oil. We don't have anything but just one little oil. Then he said, go and borrow. Borrow what? What do I want to do with it? Borrow, don't borrow little. Borrow many. <laughs> borrow. And mumusiously. Do you know mumusiously? <laughs> no asking question. She went to the neighbor. Borrow me Borrow me, borrow me. And then the prophet said, Lock the door. <laughs> you could have been so that when people see me, they will say, Something is wrong with this woman. Do you know what God told me about that? Distraction. Distraction is the enemy of direction. Distraction. Avoid it. So when she locked the door, this is where faith comes in and believe. Little hoy, you can see it, it's impossible. And then she begins to pour. What is he pouring, sir? That is belief. Believe in what you discover. Believe in that business. Believe. Believe in it. Believe in what God told you. Because she began to pour. And things began to work. It doesn't make sense, but it made God. Because she believed. Finally, it's diligence. She wasn't just standing there. Hey, oh yeah, poor, poor, poor. She was busy with it. She was busy with it. That's why the end of the diligent bears rule. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. We don't just step into overflow. We position ourselves for it. The only assignment I want us to go with is to seek God. Seek him for direction. Seek him. That is the key to our overflow. Seek him. Seek God intentionally this weekend for direction. Rise on your feet as we pray. Just one prayer. Direction. Spend time with him for revelation and instruction. There is a direction you need. It comes only from God. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. I said the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Can you put this scripture on the screen? Just one prayer. I know time has gone. Psalm 145 verse 16. Psalm 145 verse number 16. Thank you Holy Spirit. Oh Rabado Shinde de Amba Laba. Psalm 145 verse number 16. That's the only prayer. But remember your assignment this weekend. Lord give me direction. Now can we all read this scripture together? 
Read it for me. Read it for me. One, two, three, go. Uh huh. Who opens his hand? God. So when the hand of God is open, something flows over to the people, satisfying their desire. I'd like you to pray two prayers to yourself. One from the scripture, one from the message. Father, open my eyes this weekend to what you have put in me for my making. What is inside me for my overflow? Open my eyes to it. And then open your arm to me. And let there be a flow over of your the, of my desire of your goodness that will satisfy my desire in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth let there be an overflow from your hand what will satisfy my desire in the name of jesus open my your hands unto my family open your hands unto me father open my eyes to that which you have put inside of me for my overflow what will cause me to overflow in the mighty name of Jesus open my eyes open my eyes let my eyes be open let my eyes be open give me that direction even tonight that encounter even tonight in the mighty name of Jesus thank you father Lord in Jesus holy and precious name we have prayed father we are grateful Lord you have practically shown us some things in your word tonight I ask even as your children go home today in the same way you gave Solomon an encounter that brought him into overflow of destiny tonight as we go even tonight visit everyone in the mighty name of Jesus that secret that needs to be known that direction that is needed for the overflow that thing that needs to be exposed to every one of us that will launch us into our overflow season open our eyes to it now in the mighty name of Jesus let direction come through for us let direction come through for everyone we will not be limited in the name of Jesus open your hands unto everyone satisfy our desire thank you blessed father give God praise everybody celebrate him celebrate him you are stepping into overflow And stepping into overflow. Hallelujah. Wisdom. Direction. In this season. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Father. We worship you. We give you glory. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Let's shout a big amen. Let's quickly stretch our hand towards the man of God. He has poured into us today in a diverse dimension, in prayer, in manifestation, in teaching, in practicality. Let us just pray that God Almighty will continue to fill him up. That tomorrow will be a dire dimension, will be a glorious level in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like we have never witnessed before. Like you have never seen before. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we just give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Thank you, precious Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Shout a bigger amen. Are you blessed already? Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. You, you see, when we have a meeting like this, God does not only further confirm what is going on. Amen. It brings about the manifestations of those things. Praise the name of the Lord. How many of you were here on Sunday for School of Greatness? What were we talking about? We are talking about death. Praise the name of the Lord. You see, a few days ago, God started speaking to me and he says, he said, there is a dimension that I am taking this destiny star. And he just mentioned that exact what God said to me. He said, destiny star is going to be about principle and manifestation. As he was teaching, the principle of the word of God and the supernatural manifestation coming together. Praise the name of the Lord. 
I see God doing amazing things this season. In the mighty name of Jesus.